What's going on guys? Welcome back to BT Willis Garage. Today I'm going to be XHP stage three flashing my car. Um, what we're actually going to do first is pop the hood and hook up this battery charger. So this is one I got off Amazon, pretty cheap, works great and is very small in size. So step one is to pop your hood. This process is really easy. Over to the left, you're going to see two things. One, you're going to see this cover you're going to pop up. And number two, you're going to see this post, which is a copper post. So what I like to do is wait to plug in the NOCO Genius and actually go ahead and hook up to this negative terminal. And then I'm going to hook up to my positive terminal here. Next, grabbing my power cord. I'm going to plug into the wall. Garage is kind of messy, but... All right, and so now this is recognizing uh, that this is a normal 12 volt battery and I'm going to wait to make sure that this starts blinking. It did. All right, we're charged up. Let's get in the car and hook up to XHP. All right, guys, so we're in the car and I'm actually using this Bimmer Geeks OBD2 cable and I've just got it kind of running up behind my steering wheel. Now this is a Pixel 2 phone, so it's got a USB-C. I'm just using the adapter that came with the phone. The Bimmer Geeks cable actually comes with this OTG adapter, and it's actually just for standard USB. So just be sure you have what you need. Um, if you need USB-C, they sell these on Amazon. I'll put a link, but you probably have one with your phone. If not, I'll, I'll hook you up with a cheap Amazon link. But what I'm going to roll into is... Actually, we're going to need to turn the car on to where you can see the gas uh, the gas gauge go to its normal position, just knowing that the car is actually on in accessory mode. Um, so I'm going to switch to a screen recorder now to show you MH, uh, excuse me, XHP and how you use it, and we'll go from there and see what this trans flash does. All right, guys, so on the home screen of my phone, I've got MHD and XHP sitting here. So I'm going to go ahead and enter the XHP app. Now, if you haven't done so already, you want to make sure that it's compatible um, with your car as far as knowing what your car is. Oops. Just click, um, just click this little car icon at the bottom that's going to come back up. and you'll see that it's identified my car. So I'm gonna hit connect. I'm gonna choose eight speed since I have, have a ZF8 transmission. Next, I'm gonna go to install. It says to buy a flash license, so I'm gonna go to the shopping cart. I'm gonna buy the super license eight speed and buy, accept. It's going to lock the license to the current vehicle. That's fine. I don't plan on using it anywhere else. Put it on my MasterCard. Sure, that works for me. All right, payment successful. It should be unlocked. So next what we're going to do is, honestly, you want to make sure that you have your headlights, your HVAC, such as your AC or heat off, you want to make sure your lights in your car are off, so turn all those on that are, that are on currently. I'm trying to do that myself here. And I'm just going to let this download. Alright guys, so now that I've purchased the license, I'm actually going to go back to the home screen and click install. So it's counting down for eight seconds to make sure I'm reading. I'm going to click OK. All right, guys, so I've locked my seat belt in the driver's seat in place. And I'm flashing the car. Um, I've actually got my phone in airplane mode, so no one calls. And it bothers you and I as I record this video. And at the same time that my phone doesn't do anything weird or reset or get a software update. 
So we're just going to record. I'm going to fast forward this, but as you can see, it's not taking too long. I've been talking for just a few seconds and it's already 12% done. I'm going to continue to let this go. <laughs> guys that only took like five minutes not bad at all it says that we're ready to flash our car afterward pretty much it says that so I'm gonna click in the bottom right to the store I'm gonna go ahead and be aggressive and load the stage 3 click flash load version 2.3 please lock your driver's seatbelt done my seatbelt's locked in place I'm gonna click OK now, my phone is not in airplane mode anymore, so I hope nobody calls me, but on my, uh, on my screen it says transmission malfunction, drive moderately. Just be aware, your car is going to do some funny things while it's flashing, and as you can tell, the elapsed time is like 20 seconds. My phone's pretty fast, and obviously the car's got a good uh, computer DME whatnot in it, so it doesn't take long at all. So we're going to let this go and pick you back up, flashing the stage three. All right, guys, so this little notice here is super important. Drive at least 50 miles of smooth driving. Don't be getting on it. Just drive around for 50 miles and then turn off your ignition to complete the process. Please, please, please do this. We'll pick up doing that smooth drive. Here's the first startup after the XHP Stage 3 flash. So the first thing I notice is that it does say D1 instead of just D as in drive. Looks like the flash has kind of updated the display to show you what gear you're in, which is pretty neat. I'm still on the gravel, I'm about to pull off on the road, but just documenting what I'm noticing. All right, we're pulling out on the road for the first time, driving very normal. Whoa, it's changing super fast. That's incredible. It's like 1% throttle. And I mean, it is, it's noticeable, definitely noticeable. I'm gonna keep driving it for all 50 miles. I'll pick you guys back up if I notice anything. Alright guys, so immediately I'm noticing that this car is shifting much faster and much smoother. You know, outside of the D showing up to be able to tell what gear it's in, um, nothing else has really changed outside of the shifting. But watch this, I mean I'm barely on it, but it's just smooth as butter kicking into that next gear. It feel, I mean you can feel it a little bit on the swap, like it's a little more aggressive, but the downshifts are way smoother. It's downshifting at a lower RPM than it was before. Um, so that's kind of cool that it's easier on the trans. All right, so I just moved it over to sport mode. And what I really like about it is one, the lightning fast shifts, even in normal driving mode. But I really like how we're coming up on a stop sign. So I've got it in sport and you guys know what my car typically does. Watch the RPM level. It is just the least aggressive downshift ever to where it doesn't burble at all without me wanting it to. So if I set my minimum burble to 1700, as it's downshifting on its own, it's not even getting to a point to where it would do it, which is really neat because then I can leave it in sport mode without just being obnoxious everywhere. But if I want it to backfire and burble and whatnot, I can uh, choose that it does so. All right, so again, I'm driving very conservatively, you know, that city royal normal driving, but look how fast it shifts. You can hardly even see it shift, it's so fast. It's incredible. All right, there you have it. That's how you XHP flash your car. If you made it this far in the video, I assume you're serious about doing this or you're just really bored and want to watch my videos, which is cool too. But anyway, um, I did stage three. If you want to do stage one, stage two, that's fine too. You can research what the differences are. And uh, another thing worth noting is if a new version comes out, use it. This is a living, growing kind of object as far as the tune being um, developed. So 
it constantly gets better and bugs get worked out over time although I haven't identified any yet I've only driven it like 25 miles I've still got 25 left to go before I can really crack it open and some of you may know this but I'm working on a new tune for my car too so my car's only set at like 17 psi right now instead of the normal 21 22 uh, even up to 25 but anyway after my tune gets worked out uh, my tuner actually asked that I XHP flash it first so he could tune for it um, so we're going to keep going with that. But thanks for watching, guys. Like this video, comment, let me know if you ended up buying it and what you think. Appreciate it.